seven chord and how you can use it in your plan to kind of add a little bit extra to your plane. Uh, first, let me show you what a diminished seven chord is. You take any note and you build major thirds, or I'm sorry, minor thirds off of that note. So C up a minor third to E flat, E flat up to minor third to G flat, G flat up a minor third to A. It's going to give you a C diminished seven chord. I go to D flat, D flat up a minor third to E, up a minor third to G, up a minor third to B. D flat diminished third, or I'm sorry, D flat diminished seven chord. Take D up a minor third, F up a minor third to A flat, up a minor third to B. Uh, D diminished seven. Now the good thing about this is these chords, if you learn these three chords, you got all that you need to know because they recycle each other. If I take C diminished seven, move C up top, I have an E flat diminished seven. Take E flat diminished seven, or take the E flat and move it up top, I have. G diminished 7, G flat diminished 7. Take the G flat up top, I have a A diminished 7. Same thing with D flat. If I take D flat and move the E, or D flat up top, I have a E diminished 7. E up top, I have a G diminished 7. And then G up top, I have a B flat diminished 7. And then if I go to D and do the same thing, I got a D diminished 7. D up, D up to the top of the chord, I have a F diminished 7. F to, uh, to the top of the chord, I have a A flat diminished 7, and A flat to the top of the chord, I got a B diminished 7. Alright, so very simple concept, but well, like I said, if you know just these three here, that's plenty to be able to have a good time off of. Uh, so let me show you uh, how you can use these diminished 7 chords. One way you can use the diminished 7 chords is if you're going from one chord uh, whatever chord you're going to, you can build a diminished seven chord, a half step above it or a half step below it to get you to that chord. For example, if I'm playing in the key of C and I'm playing, uh, I love you, Lord, today. So I got I love you, I love you, to the two, to the five, to the one, seven, six, all right, and so on. Uh, I can throw, I can say, I love you. Flat diminished seven to get me because it is a half step below the D, D minor seven. So this D flat diminished. I love you. All right, my next chord is a five chord. So before I play that five chord, I can play a G flat diminished seven to get to the five, or I can play A flat diminished seven to get to the five. Let's see how that sounds. I love you. I love it goes. Let me try the upper so I can say, I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord. Right there. Or I can even say, I love you, I love you. Come this time, coming up a high step above D and hit the E flat to minus seven. I love you, I love you, Lord. Uh, B to minus seven. So any chord, you, it doesn't matter. All you got to do is play a half step above it or a half step below it, diminished seven chord to get to it. Uh, another way that you can use the diminished seven chord is um, you can take this and with your left hand, you don't have to play C just because you're playing this C diminished seven in your right hand. You can play any note that's in that C diminished seven as a bass note to change the chord. So I got C diminished seven, E flat diminished seven. E flat diminished seven, A diminished seven works the same way. E flat diminished seven, E diminished seven, G diminished seven, B flat diminished seven, and then I might as well do this one too. D diminished seven, F diminished seven, A flat diminished seven, B diminished seven. Um, so I like sometimes I might switch that bass note up. Now if I switch the bass note up, let me just show you this real quick. If I go to the if I'm playing the key of C and I'm going to a D flat diminished seven. If I go a major, if I go down, uh, let me let me show you this first. I can say, uh, I can also do that. I can say C and then play the E in the bass to get me to the D. So I can also go a whole step uh, above or below it to get there. Um, this time I'll switch it to the G. Don't really care for that as much. Um, I 
can also go to the B flat. So now, uh, what I would do is if I'm playing, if I'm going to go to the A minor chord, my six, I'm going to the six. I play that same diminished seven chord, but play the B flat since it's just a half step away from A to do that. So. about theory is it doesn't necessarily have to be the best sounding you just uh, know that it works according uh, to the theory um, another way I like to use the diminished seven chord I was going to show you earlier if you go down a major third from the bottom of your diminished seven chord one two three and play that A over that diminished seven chord that's going to give you a seven flat nine voicing so that'd be an A seven flat nine the reason why because I have A is my root C, is, uh, C sharp is my minor third, or my major third, sorry. E is my fifth, G is my dominant seventh, and B flat is my flat nine. So I can say, very nice chord. Alright, uh, so I just kind of played through our love we Lord today, and I just throw in diminished seven chords where I can. Uh, before I go to a lot of different chords, to kind of, and I'll I point them out to you as I do them. So you got B flat diminished seven. I love you. Next chord is my five, so I'm gonna go G flat diminished seven to get to my five. Love you, Lord. Next chord is my one, so I go B diminished seven. Today. Now I probably wouldn't use this many diminished seven chords to get there, uh, but just showing for the purpose of the video. Next chord is a two. Cause you care for me. And so just pass away. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. And I magnify you. Out, uh, A flat diminished seven to get to my six. My next chord is a two, so I can say next chord is a five, so I can say A flat diminished seven to get there. And then my next chord is a C, so I can play either the B diminished seven or the D flat diminished seven. So, and then turn around get to my two, and then my five, I start back over. Um, let's take that to another key, go to G flat. So I can say, uh, That's why my heart, so I can say, that's why, or I can say, E diminished seven to get to my E flat. And then, uh, oh yeah, another, another, another way I like to use that, another seven flat nine chord you can use um, is um, you can play um, this voice in here. And what I'm doing is a good way to analyze this to remember how to play it. I'm going a half step, I'm going to A flat right here. So I'm saying to my A flat, so I'm saying uh, kind of like this E diminished seven. Right? And then instead of playing that G over, which is the root of the diminished seven to get to my A flat, I can play the G diminished seven over A flat, over 
an A, and that's still gonna give me my seven flat nine. I got an A, got my down to seven, it's G, my flat nine is B flat, my major third is D flat, and E is my fifth. And then I'm going to my uh, D flat so I can play C to major seven. Get that, and then my next chord is uh, uh, that's my five, so I'm going back to my one so I can play F to major seven. Another time you want to use a, a diminished seven is when you turn around. So you got diminished seven, G diminished seven, two, five. It's gonna take it right back into the top of the song. Um, so just play through it real quick. E flat seven flat nine. Also, you can go down to major third for your diminished seven. And play a seven flat nine voicing. Um, so, anyway, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.